was the starting point for this major five-day road cycle race, the Nissan International Classic. The Taoiseach was invited to start the race, an honour which the Lord Mayor, Mr Jim Tunney, felt should be his prerogative, and so he didn't attend. The world-class field of 76 riders includes leading cyclists from Britain, Europe and America, as well as our own Sean Kelly and Stephen Roach. I asked Roach, first of all, how much the event meant to him. Two years ago, no one, no one would ever have thought I would have a professional bike race. I won, not, not alone a one-day race, but a tour, a tour in, in itself, in Ireland. But um, like it means an awful lot, probably too much, because it means everyone's going to wait for you to win, and if you don't win, everyone's disappointed. Like, just, but um, all we can do is our best and stay upright. Well, are, are you hoping to win? Of course, everyone, it's the 76 of us here, we all hope to win, like, but no, there's, there's only one winner, so all we can do is our best. A lot of people seem to think, especially here in Ireland, that, you know, it's, it's going to be several Stephen Oaks who want to win, but it's not going to be as easy as that because you've got, uh, you've got a top-class field and you've got a big number of very good riders. And presumably it's quite a coup to have attracted these top riders to Ireland. Well, yes, that's, you know, uh, that's very, very important that you have, that you have a, an international field, riders from France and from, from, uh, from Belgium, from Holland. Uh, that's very, very important for the, especially for sponsors. And Tonight, the cyclists are resting in Wexford after their first stage. The race will take them tomorrow to Carrick on Shore and then on to Clonmel, Limerick, Galway, and Tullamore before they arrive back in Dublin on Sunday. Pushed aside in the scramble for the finishing line and the glittering prize. And Sean Kelly made it only fourth in what was to have been his triumphant return to his hometown of Carrick on Shore, slicing through its narrow streets in the stage leader's yellow jersey. And there were four circuits of the town and 20 miles to go. On the international circuit, he's arguably the world's number one racing cyclist. But to the people of his hometown who turned out in their thousands here today to welcome him home, he is the local hero whose high childhood fascination with bicycles made him an international millionaire. The local boy they all knew was made it big. And that story started on his small family farm at Carraduff in County Waterford, just outside Carrick Town. On this 35-acre farm, as a school child, he first learned to ride a bike. And in the hills overlooking the town, he did his first bike climb practices on his way home from school. Today, he did it again as part of his drive to bag the Nissan Classic, the richest race in Britain and Ireland. And this afternoon, his parents, Jack and Nellie Kelly, left the farm in the family car in good time to join the other VIPs in the town centre to see Sean over the line. After a gruelling day's racing over 124 miles of tough country, it was the Netherlands' Leo van Vliet first over the line, followed by Belgium's Eric van Lanker. Ireland's Stephen Roach came third, and there was a sprint fight with Sean Kelly in the yellow for fourth place, but he was picked by the Netherlands' van der Poel. And Kelly keeps the yellow jersey, holding on to it for his performance within today's stage, while the town set about celebrating with, predictably, Congratulations. waiting for that last minute when the sight of the banner means that he jumps like a catapult from the pack. And just look at the pattern, the movement now in the pack. They go round this monument in the road, then they come back together as the riders dive for the shelter of the wind behind the wheels. But it's all too late now, dive as they will, because Kelly is have to at least fight out second place because Roach 
throws his arms in the air for the second time in 15 hours. And this time he's winner here in Limerick, in O'Connell Street. And he is absolutely delighted. In this an international classic. 85 world-class professional riders had a jostled for position over 500 miles. Now, with incredible speed, they crossed the finishing line at the GPO, where a huge crowd had gathered. First, of course, was the Dutch rider, Adrie van der Pro, to take the honours for the final stage. But the car's interest was in the Irish cyclists. Many hoped their fellow doubler, Stephen Roach, would do well. He came home tenth overall, but it was Sean Kelly who took the overall event and the machine trophy. He was obviously clear. I feel delighted that it's great to win this. This event is the first, uh, is the first to show a violent profession, professional and amateur. And uh, for me, it's super because being Irish on my home ground, it's, it's super for us to win the rest. And how did you feel it? Was, was it tough going? Was, was the going tough? Yes, well, naturally, it's tough. Bike racing is always tough. If you take, uh, if you take the, the circuit we took, uh, the circuit down in Kerry and she was very difficult, and then up Patrick's Hill. Uh, you know, if you watch, if anybody has seen it on TV, I feel just look at the, the the circuit we took. It's it's been very very hard the past five days.